Hi, and welcome to 3DMotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating objects in Maya. We're going to use manipulator tools, rotate, and also we're going to change pivots and things like that. This is the Maya interface. This is the standard look that it has. It's the four different viewports. We have perspective, side, front, and top. To, to maximize any one of these viewports, all I have to do is hold my mouse over a particular view. I'm just holding it over. I just, okay, here we go, spacebar. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. And spacebar, of course, brings it back. So I'm going to go ahead and get into our perspective. Okay. We're going to take a look at creating a simple object. We have our polygons tab selected, and this is in our shelf. You can do general, curves, surfaces, polygons, subdivisions, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to mess with surfaces or curves. We're going to mess with polygons. So let's go ahead and create a sphere. It wants you to click and drag anywhere on our grid. Now, the, one of the nice things about Maya is this particular grid, for instance, if I want to select from the center point and pull out, I can merely grab this snap right here. See the snap to view planes? We have snap to view planes, snap to points, snap to curves, snap to grids. Okay, So we can do the view planes, or I actually for you guys, we'll go ahead and do the snap to grid. Let's go ahead and grab that. And now I'm pulling out, and as you can see, I'm now pulling out, and it's kind of a jerky motion because it's expanding based on how I'm pulling out. It's not smooth because it's going based on how I'm pulling the, the mesh out. So it's snapping on each grid line as I'm, as I'm pulling it off to the left, okay? Or in this case, you guys are looking at it from the right, but on my mouse, I'm using the left mouse and pulling it to the left. All right, so here's the mesh, all right? If I get into the select tool, which is what that arrow key is, I can rotate around the model really simply. I'm left alt is rotate, middle mouse alt pan, right mouse alt is zoom in and zoom out. And you can actually really go inside the model, which is kind of cool. All right, let's take a look at some of what we can do with moving this model, etc. This is this is our menu. We can turn around and do some uh, different things with this. If we click on the move tool. This is the transform gizmo inside Maya. Okay, if I hit four, so I can go to wireframe, you can see the gizmo a little bit clearer. Now this gizmo is the standard gizmo. The green is Y, blue is Z, red is X. If I grab the handle on that, I can pull it out. Now as you can see, it's snapping along that grid because we still have the grid snap on. Let's go ahead and turn that off for a second. Now as I grab that handle, now you see how much smoother it is. It's no longer jerking. I'm no longer following grid lines and grid points, okay? Let's go ahead and do a control Z, that's undo. Let's grab the Z, we're gonna do it this way. And the Y, I can zoom in and zoom out, almost get this almost right off the screen, okay? Very simple, very easy. One of the nice things about it as we're moving let me go ahead and turn on five. That'll get us back to our uh, view of the model with the wireframe. I can grab this corner, in fact, and I can move in in the X, Z axis. Okay, see that I'm now I'm now just not just in one direction. I'm in two directions at once. I can rotate this around a little bit. I can do the same over here. There we go. We're in X, Y, and Z all at once. It's great. It's just it's it's a wonderful little tool, nice little gizmo. Uh, several uh, 3D programs obviously have gizmos as well. I find I find the one in in uh, Maya is kind of handier than others, and you'll see why in, in a, a particular minute. Let's go ahead and go for a rotate. If I click rotate, you get this. Let me go ahead and hit four again. You get this these rings. You have a yellow ring, you have a red ring, and you have a blue ring. Okay, if I select a particular ring, I'm gonna select this blue one. You can tell I'm selected on the blue because it turns yellow. I can now rotate the model this way. All right. If I grab the red one, I can rotate it 
just in the Z. Okay, I can also grab this outer one here and rotate it. All right, so that's nice to have. Very simple again. All right, it's a really good thing. Let's go for scaling. With scaling, again, we have our Y, X, and Z, the green, red, and blue. So if I want to scale this model, I'm going to go ahead and turn five so you can see what's going on. I can grab just the blue one, just the blue handle, and I can scale it or squash it out directionally. Okay. I can do the same if I grab the X. There we go. Okay. There we go. And let's go ahead and I'll pull back a little bit and we'll go on the Z. So we're scaling it up and scaling it down, squashing it. Okay. Really simple. The nice thing is, is you see that little center blue one? That's just basically uniform. If I grab that blue one and then scale it up and down, it's completely It'll, it'll do it from its center point, and I can scale in and out as I need to, but I don't have to worry about it scaling disproportionately because I'm using the center pivot. So that's great. That comes in very handy. All right? Nice little, nice little gizmo, one that comes in handy, one that I really like a lot, and it's one that you guys should get used to, too. One of the nice things about shifting things with this is you can change your center point as you need to anytime you want. I'll show you that in just a second. One of the things I do want you to pay attention to is with the move, rotate, and scale, that's the W, E, and R keys. W is move. Okay. If it, I know I know some students like to use these buttons no matter what, but I like shortcuts. W is move, okay? E rotate there you go. R scale. Zoom it in, zoom it out. Okay. I just like it. I just I think it works much better. It's easier. One of the things you can do is you can change your pivot. This pivot is of course centered into the middle of our sphere. You can change that really simply by first clicking your insert button. And when I do that, if you'll notice this icon changes okay when it changes I can now say let's change it to snap it to one of these vertices I can now hit the V key and snap that right up As you can see I've just changed our pivot it's right there right in our top point okay when I'm done just hit the insert and I'm done that will now be our center point quote unquote for this particular piece every scale I do every rotate I do will be from this particular point only okay again that's insert and you'll see that that changes I can now again hold down my V key and I can snap to vertices as I need to the nice thing about it is you'll see when I hit V you notice this icon is changing because I'm snapping to verts well the really nice thing about it is I can now also snap to my grid so now if I click this oops let's see there we go and we're now I'm now snapping along my grid I'm now snapping at the grid points you see that oops there we go oops we're gonna go back in here Okay, I've actually just changed. In fact, that's kind of good that I did this. I actually just goofed my perspective. What happened is, is I accidentally bumped out of it. If this ever happens, in, and when you go back, you can't get your perspective back. It's very simple. All you have to do is go panels, perspective, and there you go. You're right back at perspective. All right. Anyway, as we were working on it, we had the X down, and we were snapping on our grids. And then once that's done, I can click the insert, there you go. You have a new pivot that's completely off of the model, but it's now on their grid point, okay? So again, it's really simple, really easy. Insert is a really great tool. Just insert. You know it's you know when it's changed to this particular icon, you lose your handles. That's when it's saying, what do you want to do with me? What do you want to do? And that's when you can just grab it, hit the V, and you can snap it like whatever, whatever points you were going for, etc. You can snap along curves. Uh, you can snap along view planes, etc. It just makes it really simple. 
Anyway, that's just the really quick controls, the W, E, R, the move, rotate, and scale tools, how we can get in and change our pivot point really quickly, very easily. And I hope this has been fun for you. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and this has been 3dmotive.com. Thank you very much for watching.